over these past couple of years, there's been this amazing thing happening in New York where all these unbelievably talented younger guys are coming to town as they've done forever. And, um, you know, I like to kind of keep track of things. I spend a lot of time listening to people and, you know, going out and hearing people and, um, you know, kind of note the people who I think, oh yeah, that guy would be fun to play with and, and so forth. And I then invite him up to my house and we play. And I've got hours and hours and hours of me playing with some incredible new musicians. I thought, well, you know, I enjoy this so much and we usually wind up playing like, you know, autumn leaves and stuff, which is great. I love doing that too. But many of these folks that come up there know my tunes because as part of all the infinity other things that they've listened to as they become the musicians that they are, um, my thing has been a little part of that diet. So they understand how to play a tune like Bright Size Life. I mean, they've grown up listening to it. So they know what that is in a way that is really organic for them. And that kind of, uh, you know, is fascinating to me. Bright Size Life laid out this sort of basic argument or this, this, this fundamental thing that really became like the foundation of everything that I've done since. I do think there are musicians who go through their life and they're constantly looking back and going like, oh my God, what did I do that for, you know? I mean, for me, it's the exact opposite, which is everything goes back to that. And only from that place can things build. So these guys came up to the house a lot, lots of different people. And, um, you know, I have these recordings of us playing standards and so forth. And I can tell from the way they play that stuff that they are in this sort of unique linguistic tribe within this general language. So I thought, okay, here's this collection of fantastic musicians. And it also inspires me to think about, well, what could I come up with? with for those guys now. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I should come up with some kind of a setting where I can apply myself to that particular interest. And um, therefore we're in the, the side eye version, you know, I guess it's the version 1.5 of that in the sense that there have been five different drummers along the way, five of the greatest drummers of our time. And then at the core of it is James Francis, who I'm very happy to say I have no words for because he does not actually fit into the, any previously known description of what a guy can be. And uh, that for me is really exciting. I love that when I happen to run across that. There have been a few times along the way that I met musicians that kind of fit that category of like, well, you know, this is a different kind of musician. To me, those are the kind of qualities that I'm drawn to.